Sakai, are you guys ready to solve the biggest mystery in the game? Let's see who the neighbor's wife truly is and what she looks like. There goes nothing. Okay, little dude, what you got? What are you doing? You're playing with nothing. <laughs> I see. Hey everybody, my name is and welcome back to Hello Neighbor, Hide and Seek. So guys, you really wanted me to hack this game since the last episode, so I got a little bit of a surprise for you. We are gonna do it today. <laughs> Three hours is what it took to hack this game fully, until we can, as you can see, teleport outside of the playable area and uh, explore the world. So today, we have a few missions to accomplish. First of all, as you know, when we were playing the game, we couldn't go into certain rooms, so I wanna hack into them and see what's inside. Also, apparently you guys mentioned there is a neighbor outside, or this guy's neighbor, or basically just us. Our neighbor's neighbor, us. By the way, <laughs> but yeah, apparently there's a guy outside, as you can see, the boy that we start playing in the main game with. So we're gonna hack outside, see what's going on, and then we have a little special mission as well. You know neighbor's wife, she appears in a couple of the cutscenes, but she never shows her face. The camera is always below her. Just like in the old Tom and Jerry cartoons where, you know, the animators hid the human's face. So, today, we're gonna solve the mystery and see who it actually is, you know? I have done it all before just to test out my hack, so I know what's going on, but I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. Watch until the end to see. We need to restart the game for it to work anyway, so we're gonna start off with, you know, exploring the house a bit. What the freak? What was that sound? Anyway, little neighbor, what you talking about? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Now I know all of their credit card numbers. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move on, see if we can pass. No, we cannot. There's an invisible wall. Well, not a problem. We can just phase through. Squablanky. There we go. Yeah, so this room is closed. That room is closed, but apparently we can look through the keyholes. If we press and hold E, judging by the layout, this should be the bedroom, right? As we remember from the first house, we're gonna try and hack inside now. Okay, here goes nothing. Squablam! There we go. Nice. Yeah, that is the bedroom. What the freak? Also, why do you need two radios instead of one? What? This is our mom's purse. That's cool. It's candles. Okay. Apparently three pillows for some reason. And this is the boy outside, which we're gonna pay a visit to later. We're gonna get back and do our thing here. Try to go inside a shed. Hold on. We can pick up this box though. If we press and hold E to this door, we can see that this is a shed. With a bunch of tools, which we can take, but I don't know what to use them for. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. We can take the wrench. We can take the shovel. Give me that. The glue. <laughs> El goo. I wonder if you can actually pack those items and then use them in the uh, imaginary world to, uh, for example, stab the tiger guy. Or our brother. He's the tiger. I don't know. I guess we could try. I'm gonna store them in my inventory. Let's head outside now. This door does not open for the other side, so we need to hack outside again. There we go. We are out, and now... I think we should go upstairs, right? Oh no, we need to go to the kitchen, of course. Oh, and one more thing to mention, since Neighbor's Wife is in the kitchen, what the developers did is they completely got rid of the wife. Just so any hackers don't get to her. Hold on, this is a little bit problematic, but we made it to the kitchen. There we go. If we look to the oven, she's gone. She, <laughs> she dropped the eggs. Can I pick them up anymore? Hold on. Of course, we have too many items. Anyway, we cannot smash windows, I don't think. Yeah, they're made of bulletproof glass. Seems like it. Okay. Hello, Mr. Crow. How are you doing? And what are you doing? Sending all T-pose and stuff? Come on. Okay, we cannot interact with anything here. This should be the bathroom. Let's go inside. There we go. Oh. <laughs> it's empty. You we'll probably just be outside a window. Anyway, let's hop out and see what we got. Oof. Yeah, the mountain has a really wonky mesh or... Whoa. <laughs> Whatever it's called, I don't know, the thing that you walk on. I'm not a game developer, don't judge me. Anyway, now we're gonna go ahead and say hi to the little boy. Since we made it outside. <laughs> Look at this crow. Here, yeah, catch a wrench, stupid yeah. bird. Or not, you know? Wait, what the freak? It's gone. It's gone forever now. Everything is super broken outside. Hi. Okay, little dude. What you got? What are you doing? You're playing with nothing. <laughs> I see. Oh, look at that. Is that a magnet gun? That is. And why does the uh, daytime change as soon as I approach this guy? Look at that. What? Like it goes from evening to day, or from day to evening. What is up with that? Anyway, we found a gun outside. What does that mean? Maybe. Wait, what if we go behind the house? Could we like get the little wrench? I think we could. I thought this wouldn't like be a thing, but it seems like it. Okay, so using the magnet gun, we can reach the wrench, which assumingly goes here. 
Okay. What is up with that? Uh, we can't climb it. There's no ladder, though. Okay, I am super confused. I don't know what's going on, but this is assumingly the room where we start. Hello? Little boy? How are you downstairs and upstairs at the same time? That does not make any sense. I don't know if this was all supposed to happen. The developers left the uh, magnet gun on purpose, even though there's no way to get outside the house without hack, so I have no idea. Anyway, we're gonna go up and try to see what else we got, all right? Fortunately, we cannot die in this game. <laughs> Apparently everything is in our imaginary- Whoa. Okay, I don't want to be stuck. So as far as we can see, the ladder leads to this room, which, you know, we have to go to in the main game. Guess it's like a hacker shortcut. <laughs> Anyway, I still want to explore the world a bit before I go anywhere. The car, there's nothing here. Can I interact with it? Can I interact with anything? Oh, well, that's fine, you know? That is fine. Look at this floating pole. Oh, yeah, I wanted to visit this house as well. Hope you don't mind, little man. Okay, let's go inside. Squab blank. Excuse me, squab blanky. It's rather empty and no windows. I see. So we're just moving in. Goodness me, that's scary. <laughs> Imagine seeing that through your window. That scared the pooper out of me. It's pretty creepy, actually. Lol. <laughs> Such a big window and a uh, freaking house staring at your soul. It's insane. Okay, the bathroom is empty, as always. Or, I mean, as suspected. The basement is not existent. Okay. This whole place is empty. And I think we cannot step on the white thing. It's, uh, yeah. It's the edge of the map, so we're not gonna go there. Yeah, I think that's it. This whole map just ends here, it's not too big, so we cannot go exploring too much. So I guess we can just get back to our objective. I'm gonna leave you the wrench, dude. I guess Thank you're you looking for it. <laughs> Goodness me, dude! Were you trying to kill me there? Wow, I, I must stay away. Here, catch a gun. Okay, that's probably not what you do to a uh, criminal. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get back to the house and uh, progress. Wow. This whole thing is broken as heck. Let's go down, so as soon as we open that door, the cutscene should start, right? Yeah, so if the boy is already inside, does that mean there are two of them? Think I even feel that weakest? We've basically been to everywhere anyway, so there's not much to hack as you can use the uh, boosts to... Did I use my items? I did! Dang it! Okay, well that's fine. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can get on top of the roof or something. Because as I said, the boosters can get us anywhere, so it's, there's no point in hacking around. Okay, let's see if this works. It's kind of tricky, whoa. Hello, sir? <laughs> Chill out, sir. Okay, we made it, I think. So this is a solid material. It is. Okay, this is weird. Again. Whoa. What the heck? First of all, the sound. Second of all, what is going on? <laughs> I guess it's like an invisible wall so you don't get outside a map or something. By sheer luck. Anyway. Yeah. Huh. That's funny. I don't know if there are any places in this map to uh, hack behind or inside, because, as I said, we've been to everywhere, so I don't know. The roof does not seem to work properly, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's made out of paintings. That's interesting. I see. I guess the boxes were like some sort of uh, peak of interest, but I don't know. We could see inside of them, so I guess we can try hacking inside. I believe there's going to be nothing inside of them. Oh, yeah. It's all a lie. <laughs> so glue, it's a bunch of lie. So yeah, anyway guys, I think we're just gonna head to the ending, or to the beginning, not the ending, what am I saying? And then hack the cutscene, and see, you know, the face of the wife. Okay, I'm out of here before this guy gets me. We are in the menu, now we need to start a new game. There are a few steps that involve this thing, and this game crashed. There we have it. Now, as I was saying, there's a lot of steps that involve this uh, thing to work, so... First of all, we need to freeze the game. <laughs> Look at this dude. Then, we need to freeze the cutscene because uh, otherwise it will just go and end. So, let's do that. There we go. Now, if we unfreeze the game, check this out. <laughs> Look at that. It's kind of weird, but uh, this whole cutscene is now stuck and it won't like progress. We can also rewind it, for example, if we do this. We're back in the beginning. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. We can always rewind. We can rewind. We can skip. And whatever, you know? That's one part of the process. Now, okay, let's not forget to freeze it though. Now, the next thing we want to do is disable the graphics. What? Or disable the uh, post-processing, which creates a motion blur, which we don't want, because look at that. The whole view will become clear. There we go. <laughs> I think that was a mistake. 
Let's rewind nope. that. <laughs> okay, now I think if everything works correctly, we should be able to move inside the cutscene. Check this out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at your face. And van face. That's horrifying. We can basically move around the whole house without any problems. But yeah, as for the massive reveal, I have a little setup made already. So what we need to do, right, is we need to go to a specific cutscene. Yeah, that's the one, because uh, our camera will be facing towards her. Now, everything should be done. Okay, are you guys ready to solve the biggest mystery in the game? Let's see who the neighbor's wife truly is and what she looks like. There goes nothing. What the? <laughs> there you have it. Well, hold on, let me get a better view. So, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the neighbor's wife. Apparently. Well, she's pretty. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think I would lose my head for her. I don't know. Um, are you guys enjoying the view? <laughs> yeah, we can move around still, get a closer view, if you, you know, want to see the details. <laughs> okay, but yeah, to be frank, seems like the developers are still hiding the face from us. Which is kind of weird, considering the model disappears completely after the cutscenes. But in fact, all there is is just a body without a head. Hold on. Or maybe that's what she's cooking. I don't know what else to tell you. I guess we can go to a different cutscene to check this out. There's only two cutscenes where this works, because otherwise she's just in a T pose. Or completely gone, that is. Okay. Hello, lady. Okay. Camera's a bit more zoomed in, it seems like. But yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, want to get a good angle for screenshots? Hi. There you have it. Anyway, we can check out what's under the table. And it seems like they're eating a bunch of bread, like in the ending. <laughs> Spoiler alert, even though I believe there's more things spoiled than uh, just the ending here. But yeah, look at that. There's a bunch of bread, a bunch of tea. Anyway, guys, there's not much else I can do anymore. It's like in Bendy. I cannot move the camera around. I cannot, like, uh, look around, so... This is what we got. This is one of the main reasons as well why we're using the menu to uh, interact with it, but yeah. Oh yeah, we can check out what's inside the fridge as well. Give me a second. Hello? Oh. Okay, I see. A bunch of nothing. Well, but anyway guys, I think that's where I'm gonna finish the episode because, yeah, we covered just about everything. If there is anything else to cover, let me know. But for now, I think we're gonna call it a day and, uh, yeah, this is the biggest mystery right here. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this episode, enjoy it, like it, comes a lot, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, it's our brother, <laughs> dressed up as a tiger, barely trying to catch us. Okay, wow. I think he's got us, super fast. Sort of speed up the game a bit to uh, run faster, but I think that's all. Usually the game developer doesn't put anything outside 